If you want to turn a hundred dollars to about eleven thousand to thirteen thousand dollars in thirty days, then you must do these few things that I'm going to show you in this video. Hello, and welcome to this video. My name is Leonard from DetailLeonard.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a hundred dollar to about eleven thousand to thirteen thousand dollars in thirty days. So if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. So without further ado, let us jump right into it. Now you will agree with me that 2021, if you have been involved in the crypto space for a while now, you, are, you agree with me definitely that 2021 was the best year so far in the crypto space whether you got involved in you know farming crypto uh, whether you got involved into um, trading whether you got involved into just buying and holding whatever means that got you involved into the crypto space 2021 was the best year so far in this industry and going forward you know the years ahead are going to be better in the crypto space and a lot of persons who got involved into the crypto market blindly actually got stuck in between. And when that happened, they feel that, you know, this is a scam, this is Ponzi scheme, it is not worth doing, and so on. That is because you have failed to learn the basics. That is why I want to show you, or I want to let you know that if you must make money, to the extent of turning just a hundred dollars into about eleven thousand to thirteen thousand dollars in thirty days, what you need to do this year is to learn how to trade fishers. When you come in here to any crypto um, uh, exchange, um, basically they have um, a safer means of trading the crypto, which is um, majorly for holders. Yeah, and um, you know, for holders, is that you need to trade spot. A spot is that you buy the asset when you buy the asset let's say you want to buy a particular asset with um, um, ten thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars you are buying for instance if I want to buy Bitcoin right now I can get up to two Bitcoin at a hundred thousand dollars two Bitcoin plus at a hundred thousand dollars now I exchange my dollars or my USDT for Bitcoin so Bitcoin I have the number of Bitcoin that is worth a hundred thousand dollars and then I give out my hundred thousand dollars meaning that if i bought for instance if you come in here to this zigzag chart you are seeing here this is how a typical representation of what the crypto market is it goes up it comes down it goes up it comes down that is why it is said that the crypto market is a volatile market so if you bought for instance you bought bitcoin at um about 47 um 47 000, or almost forty eight thousand dollars you would have gotten about two let's see and you're investing a hundred thousand dollars you would have gotten about two bitcoin plus if you are investing at uh, around forty eight thousand dollars so once you invest here as a spot trader there is every tendency that the price could drop down to around um um forty six forty five thousand it is very possible this is not under probability it is very possible just as a senior if you enter the market right here and then the market dropped to about forty six thousand um you'll be losing a lot of money as a spot trader so all you just need to do is to be patient for this market to go above your entering price and you would have made money no matter how long this takes you still have that particular set that you have actually bought that is spot trading for you but for fishers and in order to make money in this space the more money you put in the more um, money you actually stand to make but in fishers when it comes to trading fishers you can actually grow a little amount of money for as low as a hundred dollar to about eleven thousand dollars and this all depends on the exchange now i um, actually did this calculation with the bybit exchange and with the Bybit exchange, you can make actually up to this. And the reason for this is because of their low fees. So if I go back here and um, let me go with Wobi, this is another exchange with a very low fee. And I go ahead and calculate this. So you see that, that your hundred um, dollars trading, um, you know, for about a hundred, carrying out a hundred and twenty trade, which is about four trades per day. 
so four trades per day for the next 30 days would have given you this trading with just a hundred dollar in your account so you would have been making about thirteen thousand um dollars in return in your account and the reason for this as i said earlier is based on the low fees that these exchanges actually trade so to actually start trading features what exactly do you need the first thing that you need is a reliable exchange with a very low fee and how do you know an exchange with a very low fee i actually recommend three exchanges in this video i'm recommending binance i am recommending bybit and i am recommending huobi the link to sign up for these exchanges are in the video description so you can go sign up for an account with any of these exchanges so if i come in here to coin market cap and to know more about um the fees that these exchanges actually charge i want to come in here to where it says exchanges and i go to derivatives derivatives is where we trade features and remember that i said in this video if you must make money this year in the crypto space you need to learn how to trade features so when you trade features you want to consider some of these exchanges with low fees you need to consider these exchanges with low fees that way you will be able to make this amount of money that you are seeing here so you see that what you should be making um with a particular exchange like uh, bybit is different from what you'll be making with ruby and the reason for that is because of the low fees now this is derivatives this um exchanges are ranked according to their performance in when it comes to trading derivatives and binance the first one here is binance you see the maker fee and then the taker fee so for binance you see the maker fee is as low as this and as you go down here you equally see it and, and i said to be able to get this kind of results that i'm actually showing you here what you need to do is to trade with um um, these three exchanges you need binance exchange you need who will be um, buy bit exchange you see that buy bit um the maker fee here is zero point um minus zero point zero two five percent and then the taker fee is about zero point zero seven five percent so if you scroll down here again another exchange you should use is this one um ranking number five here is who and then Wobi charges you 0 0.2 and then um, 0 0.02 and 0 0.04 as the taker fee. So you have the maker fees and then you have the taker fees. Now the maker fees and the taker fees are simply this is um, maker fees are those who make the market and then takers are those who takes from the market. So if you are entering with a market order, you are a taker. And then if you are entering with the market with a limit order, you are actually a maker. So those who wait to enter the particular who are entering the market with a limit actually pay less. And if you are just using the market order, then you pay more. So once again, three exchanges that you need this year to be able to make money trading um, crypto, trading features. All you need is a Binance account. You need a Bybit account and then you need a Huobi account. Link to sign up for these three exchanges will be in this video description. Now, once you have a verified account with any of these exchanges, the next thing you need to do is to have a strategy. Is to have a strategy. And your strategy will involve you studying a particular crypto asset. Studying a particular crypto asset. If I come back to CoinMarketCap again, I have actually added some of this um um this some of these tokens or some of this crypto and the ones i trade the most is actually um bitcoin if i come in back here to coin market cap when it comes to officials trading the one i trade the most is actually i trade bitcoin i trade um the binance coin bnb and another one here is actually this one these are some of the coins that i'm very familiar with I've been able to understand how the market for this coin moved to some extent and in most cases my predictions are always right and then the next one is this yen dot finance which is the yfi this is one of the coin that I actually trade there are a lot of them actually but the ones i trade the most is bnb um the yfi this yen finance and then bitcoin itself in trading some of these coins that i just listed here i am sure of getting up to 70 percent win rate and that is what exactly what i use in this calculation so i'm starting a trading um challenge with just a hundred usd and i want to trade this for the next 30 days and i want to take profit at 0.0 uh, 0.5 and then my stop loss will be 0. 
um, four of whatever amount that I'm risking here. And my win rate once again is 70%. And then to trade this for the next 30 days, um, I need 120 trades. So out of this 120 trades, it means that for each day, I'll be trading four times. Each day, I'll be trading four times. And then you choose your particular exchange and you see, you know, the taker. And remember, once again, um, the maker fee is when you set your account with limit order and then the taker fee uh, is actually when you are entering the market with a market order. So with 70% win rate, and then 120 trade, which is four trade per day in 30 days. I'll be having about 84 win trade and then 36 uh, losses. So this is what if I win up to 84 with this particular exchange, this is the amount that I'm actually um, going to make. And out of this, this will be the losses and then this will be the fees. So I'm left with this amount of money with just a hundred USDT trading in this market. So these criteria must be met and remember I am the leverage that I set here is actually 50x. Now if you are just starting in the crypto space, if you are just starting, you want to start learning um, how to trade features, make sure that you adjust your leverage, let it be between um, 1x to actually 10x. Because the more the leverage you actually set in your account, the more profit you stand to make. The more your leverage, the more profit you stand to make and then the quicker you are, can actually ruin your account. That is one thing you need to understand here. So the more leverage you use, um, here on a Binance exchange, if I want to adjust my leverage, I can just come in here to where it says 20x and click on it. Then you can adjust it to either 50 or whatever you can go. And then the a number of leverage, the highest you can go actually depends on the particular token that you are trading. So you can go for as high as you want or as low as you want so if you are a beginner just make sure that you are trading between 1x to 10x don't go above that because the more leverage you actually have the more uh, money you make that is sure but remember that the more or the faster you can equally ruin your account the faster you can blow off your account so be careful when it comes to using leverage and the rest i have video step-by-step -step guide on how to trade features and on binance on individual description so you can go ahead with any of these exchanges you want to whether you want to sign up with binance or bybit or huobi you can actually trade with any of these three exchanges and you stand a chance of making a reasonable amount of money so first i've said one of your strategies that you need um, an exchange you need a particular coin that you are familiar with you, you make sure that you are familiar with the movement of that particular coin in the market and then set yourself set your positions and then you know start trading and you can start benefiting from that and the next thing you need to do is before you enter any trade make sure for instance if i come in here to binance and i go to trading view this is the chart i love using and if i expand this chart right here so once you know a particular asset that you are trading and um, you know you are familiar with those assets, you are able to study those particular um, assets, the next thing you want to do is choose your time frame. If you are going to be trading with um, um, scalping the market on a daily basis, then you need to trade between 5 minutes and 15 minutes time frame. Then if you want to open trades and leave it for days to be able to enter or go into profit, then what you need is actually um using between the one hour to the daily time frame so those are all videos that will guide you on how to do all of those uh in my channel that is the reason why you need to subscribe so that whenever videos like this are published and i'll be publishing more videos on features trading strategies to trade features in the future on this channel so just subscribe and once you subscribe you'll be part you know be the first to be notified once you hit the notification bell you'll be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published um, so here you want to go choose your time frame, the time frame you are comfortable with, uh, whatever time frame you are comfortable with, you go ahead and choose that. And then the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you add an indicator to um, actually show you the, um, um, you know, the trend of the market. Before you can go, whether you want to take a long position or you want to take a short position, make sure that you know the movement of the market. And a simple indicator to help you determine that is if I come in here to the 
um, technical indicator and I go ahead and type in EMA here you see where it says moving average exponential so I go ahead and click on that and that will add this blue line into our chart if it adds this blue line into our chart the next thing I want to do is this is the EMA I'll go ahead and click on this setting icon um, let me make this bolder by coming here um, if I scroll up here make this bolder and then make it more visible and you know so when i come in here to the input i can change it from this nine um, days or nine, depending on the time frame you are using actually it will be let's say i'm going to change it to 200 so if i'm using the daily time frame it will be 200 days moving average um, but right now we are on the 15 minutes time frame so it is going to be that so now whatever um time frame you are using what you need to do using this 200 ema um indicator here what you want to do is whenever these candlesticks are below this 200 uh, moving average here whenever this candlesticks are below it you are going to look for a buy for a sell opportunity and then whenever the candlesticks crosses above this line here this 200 moving average here you are going to look for a buy opportunity for example whenever these candlesticks are above this line you are only looking for a buy opportunity and whenever it is below this line you are looking for a sell opportunity there are other indicators actually that you can add up to this that will help you make a um, you know a concise decision in entering the market i'll be making more videos i don't want to make this video too long i'll be making more videos on each of these strategies on this channel so once again consider subscribing hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published so with this simple indicator um here you can actually determine when to because whenever if we the candlesticks are above this this line this 200 moving average becomes a support it means that prices there is every tendency that the price goes up comes down here and bounces from this line and then goes up again then when it breaks down through it and when it breaks through it and then goes down the line here the 200 moving average here becomes a resistance it means that price will go up here touch the 200 moving average here and then come down again it comes up touches it come down again and it goes on that way and it continues like that so once again this simple um or the summary to this video is that if you want to be able to turn hundred um dollars into about thirteen thousand dollars this year then in 30 days you need to trade features you need to learn how to trade features and trading features you one thing you have to note is that you must be consistent you have to be consistent in trading the market that is why i've been able to um, carry out this for 120 trades which is about four trades per day and you know with 70 percent win rate then you are sure of making this amount of money on a monthly basis it is as simple as that please once again when you are trading features as a beginner make sure that you play around with you know leverage where with your leverage don't go too high you can trade you are free to trade with at least 100x leverage you are free to trade um with whatever leverage that the exchange gives you but don't take advantage of that except you know what you are doing if you don't know what you are doing and you are using 100x leverage because you want to make money faster you can equally blow up your account faster so that is all i have for you in this video and once again to sign up for each of these exchange links will be in the video description remember once again that the three major exchanges to make money and pay a very low fee in the market is number one you need a binance account you need um, a Huobi account and then you need a bybit account sign up with the links in the video description and i'll see you in the next video